Well, I came out here today in hopes that my boots were more waterproof than they used to be. And they are not. I sprayed them with some Flex Seal from top to bottom. And believe it or not, they're worse than they were before. I mean, yeah, the water is up a little bit, but uh, my feet are soaking wet now. So, I got my detector and my magnet. I'm going to do a magnet fishing. Since the water is so clear, I'm going to do it kind of just eyeballing it in the deep spots and uh, see what I can find here. As my boots, I went ahead and got in. As my boots steadily fill up with water, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, see that little ring thing right down there? Yeah, I don't know if it's metal, but it is. Could be a piece of horse tack, who knows. So that's what I'm doing, just kind of eyeballing it and then I'll drag the magnet in these little edges like around in here and see what I pick up. And you do get more stuff. See, there's wire. So, the water is just so clear that it's easy to see the stuff if you get to the big hole up here. The big hole up here is where those of you who watch my videos, you've seen the, uh, where I found a, uh, barrel off the rifle and my wife found the gun attached to the horseshoe and I'm sure y'all are tired of that story but I'm not so I'm gonna keep looking and see what I can drag out of here for you here's the hole whoa about fell here's the hole where we pulled out so many horseshoes and other things I don't know if you can see it down in there but I'll just kind of bounce it around I can hook onto something. You have to just ignore the camera shaking around. Nothing right there. I may need to put the camera up and uh Get it a little more focused up under the base of the rock. Let's see what's on there. <clears throat> Nails and junk. Let me go back. Let me do it without the camera for a while. There was nothing under the rock today. Nothing. I don't know what that is. Looks like the arm off a toy. So anyway, I'm gonna make my way around and see what I can get out of here. It's not magnetic, but it's a turtle shell. Look at that. Haven't been down here real long. It's not rotten. Well, there's one piece missing right there. Didn't make it through the winter. Oh well. This is the creek that I call Horseshoe Creek. So I found a couple old World War I military uh, badges out here. A couple of wheat pennies. That's a metal detector around here. And over on the other side of the creek is where the springs flow into the water. So I have my metal detector. It's kind of far back right now, but I'll go back far as I show you that creek looping around here. There's a bunch of trees down on the other side, so I'll get down in here and do a little shopping around with my magnet. All right, let me get in there. I saw this and went ahead and just dropped the magnet on it to get it out. It's just a big old nut and bolt. There's some metal there.
friend of mine found a uh, pistol right on the other side of that little toothy looking rock sticking out there. And uh, anyway, I'm going to drag in there and see what I can find. That's something on here. Still cable. I'm going to leave that out here. Not in the creek though. Up. Looks like a big belt buckle with a lot of corrosion and stuff all over it. Let me try to bang some of the junk off now. Let's see it. Let's see what it is. There it is. Not as quite as big as it used to be, but it is a buckle. Magnet sticking to it, so it's steel or something. Pretty neat. Alright, out in these woods, you pretty much gotta dig everything because their signals are few and far between, but I got a low tone here. Hold on. Oh, there it is. And it is a staple. For barbed wire, whatever. Alright, I'll take it out. Got a scratchy signal here. From 20 to 90. I'm gonna dig it. I popped it out when I was digging. It's a spoon. I don't know if I cut it in half. Nah, it's been broken half for a while, it looks like. So, I don't know if the other piece is down in here. There's something. I don't know what that is. But I'll just keep it and take it back and clean it up. Low tone, 20s to 80s again. Let's see what it is. It's a nail. It's a nice nail. Really nice nail. Alright, I got the plug dug. A lot of roots out here, so digging's a little rough, but. There it is, there it is. Oh, check it out. It's another, it's another buckle. Do a little clean up. There it is, another one. One out of the creek, one out of the woods. These guys lost their pants a lot. All right, next. All right, next to the buckle hole. Got a squeaky 70s. Let's see what that is. Alright, got my hole dug. There's the buckle hole. There's this hole. And then as I was digging, I was holding my detector with one hand and digging with the other. Got another high tone right next to it. So. Uh, I think I see it. I got to quit dropping that detector like that. There it is. Nice, this top of a can. Sorry, bug flew in my mouth. You know who's gonna like that? You won't believe it. You might. The Discovery Channel. Because they want to do a uh, documentary, like I told you on my last video, of the history of bottle caps and pull tabs. I bet they want. This right here will be season two. I better put this up. Forget you ever saw it. Alright, it's not deep. Oh, I see it. Sheesh, man. This is unbelievable. That is, I'm gonna hold on to that for season three. Exploring Alabama. Digs it all. The history of bottle caps in America. All right, this is my last hole. Gotta go. Oh, still on the hole. There it is. Just a piece of iron of some sort. It's had a little bit of a high tone, but anyway, that's it for today. I'm not gonna do a recap. I don't wanna spoil the uh, 
what's coming up on season four. Thanks for watching.